Hello guys, this is Rafael, and I am one of the creators of GTS Companion App, you know, the unofficial Gran Turismo Sport app available on iOS and Android, and uh, I just wanted to do a little overview of that, you know, everything the app offers, and show you guys something that we've been working on, that we don't really know if it's interesting, because it's not very different from what the app already gives you in terms of information, but it's just concentrated uh, certain types of information in one screen that might be a little bit more interesting than just looking at your profile screen But I'll explain that here in a little bit first I'm going to go through just over all the features that we currently have and I'm just gonna do a real quick uh, Walk through the entire app and then we'll just I'll show you guys this new feature So here we have our uh, profile page and you know you guys are pretty much accustomed to this you have your SR rating your driver rating and uh just the basic basic info, got your history page here, no problem in your achievements, nothing new here, alrighty. Up here you can have a little quick look at your friends, this is one of my friends, I'm going to check his profile out, and if I wanted to I can just compare my stats with his stats, and that's it pretty much, some basic comparison, alright, let me go back over here. Now let's see here, we have the gallery page, we have the my personal gallery and the community gallery. I really didn't, didn't take many photos, these are all the photos I actually took to you know, make um, the thumbnails for the tracks and the daily races. Uh, garage, let's see here, not many photos, just some test photos and also some, some liveries that I made while I was um, recording those videos for the tracks. The community gallery, that's where all the <laughs> cool stuff is actually at. Here we can check it out. You guys are pretty much familiar with this. You, know, you can just click on the ignore the error loading image information. Since I'm doing this on a computer, not on a phone, it's going to give me this little error. So what it's doing is trying to retrieve all the info for the images after and before this current image. So. That's uh, just a little hiccup because it's not on an actual phone. And here you can uh, download the image and share it. It's not going to work on the computer, but that's all right. There you go, errors. We love them. Let's see here we have uh, race images, no problem, liveries, no problems. Here is one thing that we could probably do a little better is... Um, to, for you to save a, a livery that you like, you actually have to um, connect to your profile. You know, you have to log in with your, not only your, your username, but your password. And since you guys know, we don't ask you for any password. We just retrieve your public information from the servers. But I'm almost positive that if we wanted to, we could actually put a button here to um, add livery to library. And it would actually send you to the official Gran Turismo Sport website and ask you to log in to add that set you no know, said library to add this this um livery to your library. Sorry. So I'm not sure if that functionality would be worth it for you guys. You know, it would be an extra step, but it would be you know it seems pretty possible to us if you guys think that's interesting. So the add the add a livery to your library from the GTS Companion app. If you guys think that's interesting, just comment down below and we'll be sure to check it out to see if that actually works. So how would it work? Let me just repeat myself. You know, I stumbled a little bit on my words is you come in here, you check out a livery that you like. Let's see here, this Paul Walker uh, R34 right here. And you say, man, I like this livery. I want to apply it to my R34. You click um, add to library. It will send you to the Gran Turismo website. You log in there with your own credentials and it will save that to your library. If that's interesting, if you guys think that's cool, we can probably implement that on the app. So let's just get back here. We're going to see some errors, but no problem. All right, let's see. Well, other than that, then we have the tracks. This is just all the available tracks on the on the game right now. I hope they're all here. <laughs> if, there, if there's something missing, please let me know that I'll, I'll definitely um, put it on, you know, Register it on our website that sends the information here and this is just basic um, Information on the track how long it is uh, Most of them have a video the newer ones don't have a video because I didn't stop to create a video But I think that's okay if you guys would like 
videos for these tracks, just hit me up and I'll do them. Just send, you know, leave a comment below. Not much on around information here. One thing that we could do that we can retrieve that we know how to retrieve is your lap records for these um, these tracks. So right here on Catalonia GP in Barcelona, we could actually have uh, loaded down here like what car, what, what kind of car you use, and what's the record for that lap that you use. So let's say you had a, a Mercedes, you know, G GR3 car class, and you place a, a nice lap here. We can have your your lap time display here. If that's interesting to you guys, we can also do that. Leave a comment down below. So I'm just kind of trying to get your, your guys' sense of what where you want more info on the app and what kind of info is relevant and what kind of info is not relevant. And that's pretty much it here on the tracks. And then we'll go to the cars. The cars is, an, is a neat feature, at least for me, because I love just looking at the, the random you know, liveries and photos that it, it loads up. So let me just explain to you guys how it actually works. Let's get this new Supra here that came out a couple weeks ago. Let's see, Supra. So right here, it's gonna load up two more images and it goes into the GT's website and it looks at the trending images and it looks for any uh, Supra image with the right ID tag that I can get. So right here, it has loaded up this one and this one. So these are just two random images it gets just to have a little flavor here of uh, the car. And also does the same thing. It goes into the website, goes to the trending um, liveries for this specific cars, the specific car, and it loads up all the trending uh, liveries for it. I downloaded this livery on my Super and it's freaking amazing. It's badass. Good, good job, Mig D29, if that's you who created that. All right. We can just ignore those errors for now. Uh, we can do the same thing here on the on this part as in the gallery, which is add to your your own um, your own library the livery. So it's the same thing as I said before in the community gallery. All right, let's get out of here. There's not really much else that's different here, and nothing else that I can remember that we can add to this. But I really enjoy this section of the. Of the app you know because i just get to see a bunch of badass cars and you know cool images and stuff like that all right let's go to the one of the main parts of the the app which is the daily races this is how the app actually started for you guys that are a little bit um, newer on the app i created a website ggsportraces.com that uh, at first we didn't have a way to know the daily races we don't know why you're at work or anything like that so every day i logged in at early in the morning around 8 a.m. here in Brazil and uh, checked out the races and registered them manually on the website and they would appear on this website. It was a simple website that only had these three races and that's it. That's all I did and from this website the entire app spanned out. You know just everybody became more interested in it and you know, we had the, the know-how of creating an app of my friend uh, Alonso and I, so we're like, man, let's just create an app. We think we can do that. And we work in technology. So that's what became of GTS Companion. All right, this is just the basic um, daily race info and also the Nation Cups and manufacturers. We're working on putting on the Supra event that's coming up. That should be, it should, uh, the app should update here in the next couple of weeks with that. And here we got more info. You guys probably already know all this. Slide over here to the right. It's going to load my uh, top 100. All right. This is my qualifying. I think it's race, race B. Is this it? Yeah, this is race, race B with the Supra. Very difficult race. And uh, how how this works right here is it, it goes through five thousand times if you're not placing you know in the top five thousand times we don't look for you anymore before we could actually look for your specific id and your specific time but the api has changed and we can't um access your in direct information for a certain race so we actually have to go through a list of a thousand five thousand times and see if your id is there and if it is we get we'll retrieve your your time and place it over here all right let me close this up all right, we know this, you guys can see up here, this is the new feature we're 
I want to talk to you guys about it. Just let me make sure I haven't um, missed anything. Okay, let's just go here to Nations Cup. Got more info. Loads up all the races for this for this current um, Nations Cup. And the same thing, you can just click right here. It gets the all the information and you slide to the right and you get the top a uh, hundred times my name won't be here because i didn't play but you see it took a little longer because it has to go through five thousand names so but that's okay all right down here if you notice you ch it changed the icons down here so you're in a different tablet page so you can come over here and just ch if you're you know playing these uh this FIA championship races, you can see how well you're doing over here and how well other people are doing inside your region and uh, in your country. Alrighty, let's get out of here. And pretty same thing for manufacturers. Uh, let me see if I'm missing anything. Friends info, that's pretty much it. This just, you know, retrieves that same page. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. And that's the basic app that you guys have right now. Oh, just one thing. A lot of people, some people, you know, send me messages like, I can't see my cars here on the on the gallery. That's because you have to share your image. There's a little message here. You must share it online for it to appear here. So that's, you know, just a little simple, um, simple information for you guys. So let's go to track race. So what what's my thought behind this track race? Usually, at least how I play, I do a daily race. I finish the daily race and I come over here and I do this. I pull down and update my profile. And, uh, you know, my DR and my SR will usually go down. <laughs> and uh, I just, you know, but I'm, I'm never really sure how, how what was the number that was before? What, you know, how much what's the difference that happened? I'm never sure how much I actually went down or went up because I can see the bar going up or down, but I'm not sure like the actual numbers that are going on. So what we try to do here is get all the information that's relevant to a race and place it the best way possible for you. So uh, race A, I haven't raced, but I did do some races on race B. So let's check it out right here. So what we'll do, we'll track race. So let's say I'm about to play a race that starts here at 150 about eight minutes from now and uh, you know I want to I'm gonna do this race I already qualified my fat my time is right here 246 and the fastest qualifier is 240 right here is supposed to show me the difference but we're working on that because we haven't we actually haven't worked on it in a while so we're gonna go back to it so I can calculate the difference of time from the fastest to my time here you're gonna get some basic information of you know your your sport mode rating, so how many wins you have, how much you've completed, top 95, pole in the fastest laps, and a big um, a big highlight here on your drive rating, your sportsmanship rating. At first, I only had it like this, but it, it had the same problem as the other page. When I finished the race and I looked at this, cool, I, I saw, you know, I saw a little arrow come up here where I said completed because you're always going to complete in the race. But that's pretty much all the information I got directly because the numbers will go up or down here on sportsmanship and driver rating. But I couldn't really tell how much. So what I thought was like maybe I can do a little pop up, you know, that displays uh, more specifically what happened in that race. So as of now, the kind of information that we can get to you is this right here. This is just a test. You know, this is not actually working. We can get you the. If you won, if you won, we can tell you that you won. Right here it says up four. We can't get that. I tried, you know, I talked to some friends about it. Talked talk to people that know more about the API than, and we can't get the, the placement you started in. But I can get if you won or not. So if you won, it's gonna you're gonna have a big nice pop up here. Hey, you won, dude. You're fucking awesome. And here you can we can also know if you had the fastest lap, it will give you this information. And lastly, which is probably what you guys are mostly interested in, this we can retrieve, is how much your user rating went up or down. So this is, you know, a lot of people get really hung up on this. It's very important on, on GT Sport, Sport Mode. So 
this little information here i just made it so it was more visible more appealing you know to for you to understand how much it went down or went up on your uh, your last race so that would be pretty much it you would check these you know you would check these little blimps if you placed the top five it will tell you top five if you placed higher than top five it would just say um congratulations you finished your race because we don't we can't retrieve exactly what placement you had on that race i think that's it yeah i think that's it yeah and that's it that's it for this race tracking portion of the app it's a new feature we're working on um at first i played i used it and i played it and i didn't think it was very interesting i made some tweaks to it which is mostly involves showing this little pop-up here and uh, if you guys think that you know that's interesting enough we can really you know just go go forward with this new implementation and add it to the app and it will be a new feature for you guys one other thing that we can do that i thought of the other day is actually if you have multiple friends you know um uh on your um if you have multiple friends registered here on the app we can we can actually have your friends times here you know multiple of your friends times and you can compare your times with your friends times so we can do that also so uh that's pretty much it that's an overview of the app and this new feature that we're working on if you guys think that is interesting the race track feature the race tracking feature is interesting let me know in the comments uh, i'm going to post this video on some other Facebook groups other than our GTS community group just to get your guys' reaction and if you guys think of anything else that we could probably add to the app to make it better feel free to comment down below and uh, that's pretty much it you guys I hope you guys like this little quick video hope you guys are doing well you and your, and your families know everybody's staying at home I'm staying at home I'm working from home for those of you that don't really know about me I'm I'm from Brazil and I work at a game design company you know it's just a small studio here in brazil but i also do my own things my friend and i would do some things on the side and that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoy the video see you guys next time